All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. Last time I left off with President in the Pacific, showing FDR, inspecting the uh, Pacific battlefield. We're now on to entertainment for the troops. July 1944, keeping up the morale. GIs flock around an improvised platform to witness the first camp show in France, sponsored by the USO. Hundreds of top flight entertainers of the theater, film, and radio traveled to all theaters of action, bringing the soldiers a touch of home. The stars worked day and night and underwent the same hardships as the soldiers they entertained. Many gave several shows per day, traveling from camp to camp by air transport. Yeah, so this is a big thing that happened. They had a, a lot of um, entertainers come out because... You know, these guys, they're sitting in war, and it's just, it's hell. War is hell, you know. It's just how it is. Um, so what they would do is they'd have these entertainers come out and just make the guys happy for a little bit, you know. It it helped. I know it's a, it's a small thing, really. We think about it. Oh, well, you just went, you got, you know, entertained by some people. That's pretty neat, but... It's a small thing when you're in this hellscape and you're like, I don't think I'll ever see home and have this little bit of home come to you in some way. And yeah, they they show them in a lot of movies and stuff like that, that kind of stuff. But it's a, it's a neat little thing that happened. The Russians reach the Baltic Sea. August 1st, 1944. Germans trapped. As August opened, the Russians closed the trap on the German forces in Estonia and Latvia. My bad. Uh, this was accomplished on August 1st when a Red Army uh, broke through the Baltic Sea. Below, um, below Riga, my bad. In these pictures, top, a Red Army guard a, a unit supported by tanks advances to the attack. And below... Soviet troops are shown marching through the liberated town of Pinsk. Yeah, the Soviets, like we've said in previous episodes, when they uh, when they've talked about the Soviets, they don't they haven't been talking about them as much. But they move fast, real fast. Um, they are closing in on the Germans quickly. They're collapsing on them. It's one of the reasons the Allies um, start hurrying towards Germany because. They're thinking about the post-war, obviously, and everyone knows that basically the post-war would be the West versus the Soviets. Um, but they are, they're hurrying fast. The Soviets are collapsing in on the Germans, and they can't, they're not being stopped, really. They're being kind of slowed down, but not effectively, in a way that's actually making really a big difference at the end of the day. Progress in France. August 1944. Allies break out of the bridgehead. There we go. On July 2nd, the greater part of the Cherbourg Peninsula, uh, being in Allied hands, repair work in the city was going on rapidly. Four forts in the dock area were the last to surrender, but these were effectively bombed by marauders from 6,000 feet and pounded to surrender. So accurate was the bombing that although the forts were severely damaged, the whole length of the breakwater on which they were situated was only superficially blasted. What damage there was was largely, largely the result of German demolitions. By July 5th, steady progress was being made across the base of Cherbourg Peninsula on a 13 and a half mile sector, which the Allies took to the top of the 400 feet hills, about three miles north of the railroad junction of La, La Haye de Puis? Putis? I don't know. A remarkable advance in the view of the wooded and marshy country, which particularly favored the defensive tactics of the enemy. On July 6th, very great advances were made. 
the right wing thrust further down to the west coast and another column struck down the Cordon Pierre's Prairies? Pierre's Road. By July 7th, the road was successfully cut a mile south of La, La Haye, and the village of Belmont was captured. The map illustrates the campaign in Cherbourg Peninsula and shows the breakthrough into Brittany on August 4th. So we can see, here we'll just give you a little bit of a look at this. This is the airborne landings. This is the beachheads. The Allied line to June 12th. And I'll, I'll talk over this more when we look at the map here. So we can see the beachheads. There's one there. Obviously, there's one there, one there, one there, and one there. And then I guess this is one giant one that they're considering it. But the smaller ones, yeah, those are... Yeah, that's weird. This is, this is all of this, but obviously they don't have this part. Interesting. Um, I'm trying to see the airborne landings. Here we go. We have an airborne landing here. Airborne landing here. Uh, looks like right there. And right there. You now you can see how big some of these airborne landings are. And you got troops scattered all over in them. But they're pretty effective at getting behind the Germans and messing up uh, communications, things like that. The Allied line as of June 12th. So this dotted line here. Oh, wait. No, this one right here. This is the June 12th line. And you can see it goes all the way up to here. Through here. And obviously, yeah, it's mostly just the beachheads. Except this one up here, which is not in this. Weirdly enough. And then the lines as of... June nineteenth, which is this this line here, and you can see after they got that, they hurried up and rushed to the other side, got that, cut it off. So this has all been cut off now, um, and then they go all the way over there. Wow, the, uh, over here they didn't make as much progress. If anything, they actually lost some progress. You see here, but. Um, this line right here is at the line as of June 26th. So once again, you can see that they pushed through more. Interesting. The, and then the solid black line is the line as of July 18th. Once again, you can see here, it doesn't really look like over here they made very much progress at all all which is you know it could be it was more a defensive thing or something but not sure not sure why that is but then yeah obviously then we got the white line here which is the lines as of august 2nd and then here's the push to the uh Brittany peninsula pretty neat it's always nice seeing these maps because it's a detailed look at the front lines Flowers and Smiles for the Liberators. August 3rd, 1944. Um, a gesture of welcome from a French girl. A pretty young mademoiselle presents members of a U.S. Army tank crew with flowers in appreciation of the liberation of the town of Avaranches. As American tank cut loose in a wide end run in the general direction of Paris. Capturing German equipment and soldiers, and making the Allies masters of the whole area up to the Seine River after the break out from Cherbourg. The important victory at Avaranches opened up Brittany for the Americans. There you can see these guys are all probably like, you know, very happy, you know, it's a pretty girl giving them flowers. You know how it is, soldiers. <laughs> A French soldier comes home. August 4th, 1944. A welcome from the one who counts. A lieutenant of the 2nd French Armored Division, which was fighting again in the French homeland 
and was to play such a great part in the liberation of Paris, greets his wife, whom he left in 1943, when he joined the Free French Forces in North Africa. A wounded smile, a wounded soldier smiles in approval uh, at his domestic scene in, in a liberated village. They can see there. Yeah, that'd probably be nice, you know. You spend all this time, you're like, I gotta do this for my family, things like that. And then you get to come home, finally. It's only, I mean, it's been a year. It hasn't even been, I mean, it's been a while, but, you know, it's a year. And he comes home and sees his wife, and he's probably just like, this is nice. I get to see my wife, things like that. But with that, that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Tell me what I could approve on. I always appreciate your feedback. And as always, subscribe. It really does help out the channel. Thank you.